The topic of this video is properties of radicals, and specifically, properties needed to solve radical equations that contain variable expressions under the radicals. Let's look at a problem. Raised to the power, simplify. We have the square root of the difference 3x minus 4, plus 2, all in parentheses, squared. Once again, we must pay attention to the symbol between the radical and the non-radical. If it's adding or subtracting, we need to use the FOIL multiplication method. In this case, it's adding, so we will use FOIL. Let's rewrite this as the square root of the difference 3x minus 4 plus 2, all in parentheses, times another copy of that same thing. Now perform the FOIL. F for first, so that would be the first times the first, which is the radical times the radical. So we write square root of the difference 3x minus 4 times square root of the difference 3x minus 4. Next is outer, the stuff on the outside. That's the radical times the add 2. So I have the square root of 3x minus 4 times 2. Because it was being added, the 2 is listed as positive. Inner, sorry, this was the mark for the outer. Inner would be the stuff that's on the inside. So that would be this add 2 and the radical. So the add 2 is written as a positive 2, and the radical is the square root of the difference 3x minus 4. And finally, last, which is the stuff at the end of each pair of parentheses, which is an add 2 times an add 2. Addition is written as a positive so we have 2 times 2. In between each of your factor product pairs, you are now going to write a plus sign. OK, now we begin to simplify. So square root times an identical square root can be rewritten using an exponent of 2. A radical times a non-radical. The radical goes at the end. So this is 2 times the square root of the difference 3x minus 4. This is also. 2 times the square root of the difference, 3x minus 4. And of course, 2 times 2 is 4. Continuing to simplify, square and square root cancel, so we have 3x minus 4. These two like radicals can be combined by keeping the radical part the same, but combining the coefficients. 2 plus 2 is 4. And finally, put like terms together that can be combined. In this case, we have a subtract 4 and an add 4. Those cancel to the number 0. When you add opposites, it cancels to the number 0. So our final result will be 3x plus 4 times the square root of the difference 3x minus 4.